Hey YouTube, Retro Mike here, and if you can't tell already, I'm actually in a different room this time. This is my game room that I've been working on for about a month now. Uh, trying to get some shelves up there. I got some more shelves over there. And trying to get even more shelves, because as I get more games, I want to need more shelves. But uh, here to bring you a pickup video for all the pickups I made last week at garage sales and flea markets and as well as some online purchases and at the end you'll see an awesome trade. So let's go ahead and get started with my online purchases. Um, just made some NES purchases here. But I'm going to start off with the cart onlys and them being only cart only. Um, you know, If you're interested in any of them or all of them, let me know. They're up for trade. But uh, let's go ahead and start. They are Mario Bros. Duck Hunt, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Ghostbusters, Turtles 2 arcade game, that's a fun one, King's Knight, and Excite Bike. Again, those are the cart only ones. I also got quite a few boxed ones, so I love, you know, I'm happy to have them for my box NES collection up there. As you can see, there's quite a bit of empty space. So, yeah, let's go ahead and show these off. I got bases loaded. Bases loaded too. RBI Baseball. The Hunt for Red October. Top Gun Second Mission. Silent Service, Iron Tank, and this next one's a double, so it'd be up for trade, and it's complete, it is Tetris. Now, well, these two games, I've gotten that lot, and I'm happy to have them, because I know they're fairly uncommon, and I plan, definitely plan to play these ones. They are Star Wars, and Zelda, classic series. So it's just the silver cart here, and it also has the map, which I know is fairly rare to find with any of the box Zelda games. So, yeah, that's it for the online purchases. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the flea market. Now, I didn't make many flea market purchases, mainly because it was a small flea market this time around. But also, it being small, some of the vendors that were there were already at the one I was at last week so not too many you know new vendors and I only found two people that I bought games off of the rest of the people selling games were like I said from last week but uh, go ahead and start with some PS2 games I bought for two bucks each from a lady and they are Art the Lad, Twilight of the Spirits definitely plan to play that one I've played the PS1 version so wonder if that won't be any good and also I got Sonic Unleashed both of them are complete I have to test the Sonic Unleashed because it is a little bit beaten up but you know, I may have to buff it up a little bit but some more purchases I got here from another guy he had some sealed Wii, Xbox 360 and DS games and I got two games here they are Kirby's Epic Yarn Sealed, can't tell. And Capcom Digital Collection, also sealed. You can see that security tape there. And I got those for eight bucks each, so I don't think that was too bad of a deal for some sealed games. Probably keep them sealed. But yeah, that was it for my flea market purchases. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to my garage sale purchases here. Bought some PS1 games for 50 cents each. Uh, you know, I trying to get as many PS1 games as possible. Uh, try to trying to get the games I actually want to play first. But you know, 50 cents, I'm not gonna pass up on any PS1 game because you know, call me crazy, but I'd I'd like to see a complete PS1 collection. Uh, but I know it's gonna be quite a bit of time. Before I get one because it's a pretty large library of games but uh, the games I got here are Hot Shot Golf and 
Sledge Storm. Oh, those two were 50 cents each. Also got a PS3 game for a dollar, and it is Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2007. Now, that one is going to be for trade because I only give PS1 games that I plan to play because they're going to take up more room, which, like I said, I want to save room for my PS1 collection as well as my PS2 collection and other collections as well. But newer stuff, I try to limit myself on, but that's definitely for trade. Also, for a dollar, you got Battlefield 2 Modern Combat. And I'll probably play this one. I sort of like the Battlefield co uh, Combat games, but generally, I'm not into first person shooting games, but I'll try that one definitely. Then, I got this next purchase because uh, I had the game already. So, I played it religi this game religiously. Uh, that's the whole reason I got PS1. And the game, of course, was Final Fantasy VII. I'm sure everyone's played this, but this is, of course, the strategy guide. As you can see, quite, quite good condition here. And it's a little dirty, but I'm happy to have it because I already got Final Fantasy VIII, IX, and X's strategy guide. I never had seven, so it's cool to have it. Uh, I probably know everything that's already in it because, like I said, I play that game quite often. So. I think that was it. I, didn't, I got one more big purchase that I made at a garage sale here, and this lady, I bought it for 40, all for 40 bucks, and um, she said she got it online, so I know she probably paid much more for it than what I got it for. But I mainly got it because I know someone that wants the system, so the games I'm willing to trade. So if you see any of the games there uh, you know let me know but uh, can't get to the console right now because it's kind of buried but you'll be able to guess what it is here by just seeing this it is the NES zapper that it came with the cords as well as two controllers and let's go ahead and move on to the games. The games are all cart only. They are Adventures at Magic Kingdom, Tailspin. The lighting's getting a little bit off and on. You know, the only light I got. See now it's back up. The only light I got right now is uh, the sun. So, but uh, Duck Hunt. Mickey's Mouse Capades. In this game, I know it's fairly uncommon. It is DuckTales. Wish it was DuckTales too, but definitely would add that to my collection. But uh, also got another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, and of course, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3 Manhattan Project. So with it came Chippendale Rescue Rangers, Super Mario Brothers, Mario Brothers 2, and Mario Brothers 3. So the lady purchased it for her grandkid, I believe, to learn off of it, which is kind of cool to, to hear, you know, rather than get one of those VTEX, I guess they chose to get an NES game, because I mean, what what can't you learn from a Turtles game? I mean, you can learn everything from a Turtles game, but, uh, yeah. let's see if I can get it out here. Got it in this box that I regret putting it in, apparently. There we go. Here's the console. Now, I already got someone interested in this, so... You know, I have to keep it back for now, but it may come for trade because I got one already. Uh, I've got quite a few actually, so you know. if it becomes up for trade, I'll make a trade video with everything that I have for trade. So that is everything that I picked up. Yes, everything that I picked up for last week. 
Now, this last stuff is a trade I made with an awesome YouTuber, again, with Gamer Dude Pat. I traded him the game Conquer's Bed for a Day, well, Space Station, Silicon Valley, and a empty case of San Andreas, Grand Theft Auto, uh, so he can put his disc only game in there. But these were the games I got for that trade. You know, uh, let's see here. I got a Resident Evil Nemesis. Complete here. It's got both discs in it. Pokemon Coliseum. Super Monkey Ball. Pikmin. And I got the manual to this, I believe. So, you know, it's cool to have this back um, now. So. I definitely love that game. Uh, Resident Evil 4. Complete, still. And this next game, you know, I'm happy to have back as well because uh, a while back I had it and its sequel and it got stolen from me. So, you know, it's cool to have it back because I really liked this game as well for the PlayStation 2, and it is Dark Cloud. So, you know, that was it for the trade with Gamer Dude Pat. Thank you, Gamer Dude Pat, for this trade. Hope to do more trades with you. And also, any YouTuber out there, uh, let me know if you see something in these videos that I mentioned is for trade. You know, 100% up for trade. Just let me know what you want and what you got. But uh, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And, um, like I said, thanks for watching. And... See you next time.